What if you could set a conditional order that would protect your long to the downside while making sure that you ride the profits of the trade until it starts to pull back significantly? Stick with me in this video so that I can show you how to set this up on BitGet. All right, so what I'm going to show you is how to set a trailing stop loss on BitGet. We're going to go over what it is, how to actually configure it, and go over the description of what a trigger price is, what a callback rate is, and a couple of ways that we can actually implement it to protect our account and protect our profit. Before we do anything, let me show you how I read the order card on BitGet. On the top, we have cross or isolated, which is going to allow us to choose the way our collateral is calculated for positions. We can adjust our leverage on this asset on the right hand side. So you have to bear in mind that this is a per asset leverage adjustment. If I go to Ethereum USDT, I would have to adjust this again. This is a very important note to pay attention to. Next, what we could do is we can open or close a position. So we can put our order card in the open position mode or close position mode. I would just look at this as a reduce only position type. And it's a very intuitive way to show us whether we can open or close. So what we have after are four different types of orders, a limit order, a market order, a trading stop and a trigger order. These four types of orders are essentially what is used to create all types of orders on an order book. We have a limit order, which adds liquidity to the order book at a specific price. We have a market order, which takes liquidity out of the order book at the best available price. We have a trailing stop, which we'll get to in this video. And we have an order trigger type, which is a conditional order, which we can use to set our stop losses, any order that requires a condition to be executed. This is an extract of Bicket's own explanation, which I made just for you guys with its link in the description. I urge you to read the entire thing and pay attention to the sentences that I've highlighted here. So how does this all actually work? What we have is a trigger price, which until we've reached that trigger price, now whether it's above our price for a long or below our price for a short, nothing happens. The system's waiting for that trigger price to be hit. I want to emphasize that until the price moves above the trigger price, nothing's going to happen. The trailing stop will only trigger when your trigger price is active. The system will continuously look at the latest transacted price, the highest for a long or the lowest for the short. And based on your callback percentage, it will calculate whether to trigger your order at the best market price or not. By the way, if you like this video and want to support the channel, triple click that like button and make sure you consider subscribing. How about we go over a practical example of how to set our trailing stop order. In this example, I have a long position from essentially this area. What I'm looking for is to take profit if we have even a tick above this high. So what I want to do is I want to come to my position tab, go to my trading stop limit. This will allow me to set it up a lot easier than using the order card. The trigger price that I want to choose, the callback rate and the amount. So let's go ahead and calculate those. I'll use the coordinates here to copy that. And then the percentage that we don't want to come back and say, I don't want the actual price to ever come back down to my entry. So let's just do a quick rough 0.35. So let's say we give it a half a percent room for it to play. What we intend to do is if the price continues going up from here, we don't want our position to be closed only if there is a half a percent drop at that point is where we want our position to be closed. So what we could do here is go back to trailing stop limit, place the trigger price that we copied from our line, the callback rate we agreed as half a percent, and the amount would be for the entire position. I'd like to close the entire thing. Confirm, we're getting a callback rate of half a percent, trigger price of 23,888, which is this white line over here. Our trigger type will be market price, and the execution will also be at the market price. I'm going to confirm. And that order has been set. It's in my open orders under my take profit and stop loss orders. And what we can see is the status is currently waiting. So it is waiting for price to tick right above this level, at which point the order will then be triggered and will allow us to be able to, well, this curse always exists everywhere. I think on all trading view, 
accounts whenever you try to draw a line. While our order type is in the waiting status mode, we are able to go ahead and adjust some of the parameters. I'm going to bring down the point at which the trigger order occurs to just above my entry because I want to force this to happen for the recording purposes. It'll be around 23,805. I'll use my helper line here to copy the coordinates. We go into the adjustment, adjust the trigger price to 23,805, and we can adjust the callback rate to 2.5%. Click confirm. Now you can see the order has been updated and it's still in the waiting status. Nothing's been triggered. Once you're in the execution or waiting for execution, then you can't really adjust anything on the parameters and you just have to wait for a price to reach that callback rate based on the latest price in the market. I'm going to fast forward to a little bit forward in the future where it's closer to our trigger price. Now at this point, if the price ticks over our condition of market price, which is 23,805, that's our trigger price, then our order will become pending execution, which it just occurred actually. I'm going to pause here and wait for the actual execution to happen. I will annotate the charts and tell you where the positions have been exited. Ever since our trigger was activated, the system will continuously look for a 25% callback from the most recent high, which it would be on this candle in this instance. And you can see we never went anywhere close to it. Once we started making new highs, this would continue going because we're looking in the latest high that was in the market and the most recent pullback. And even up until right there, we don't hit the 25% mark. And that's where our trigger would have been executed and our order was closed with a market order into the market. I wish you guys happy trading. If you have any feedback or questions, make sure to reach out to us on our Mango Discord. Catch you in the next one.